If you love seafood, you're looking for a quick and easy meal to make for your family, you're gonna love what we're making on the show today. And joining us now is Kathleen Delaney. She's the owner of Great Grapes Catering, making shrimp scampi today. I sure am, How? and you're gonna help me. Shrimp scampi is one of those things that I get when I go out to eat because for me, seafood is tricky to cook. You know what? The key to, to seafood is yeah. not to overcook it. I think that's the key. So make sure you don't sure want to undercook it either. It's well, a, yeah. It's a slippery slope with seafood. Uh, you know. So as always, starting with some olive oil in the pan. Got a little olive oil going. Going to put a big pat of butter in there too. Mm -hmm. Wait for it to get all nice and heated up. I've got some really cool, easy ingredients that everybody has probably at their house. I've got some crushed red I've got pepper. That. I've got some um, chopped garlic. I've got I've that. I've got some oregano, fresh oregano. You could use um, crushed you could oregano. Use no, you could use dried oregano. Dried oregano. But to someone fresh. told me this tip once. When you do that, crush it in your fingers before you put it into your dish to Absolutely. get the flavors going out. Get it going, man. Totally. Or you can lightly bang it underneath your knife just to get it going. Oh, or take a scissor to it and really? cut it right into it. Yep. Hmm. Absolutely. I've got a shallot or two right here. I'm going to throw this baby in here and get it started. The um, pasta's already in the um, in the water. I dropped it already, about 10 minutes. So maybe you'll help me drain that. I can do that. But um, we've already, I have 16, 20 shrimps, which means when you see that on a package, you say it at any grocery store, means that per pound, there are about 16 um, shrimp. So they're pretty big. So where's the large. 20 come in? 16 or 20, that's 16 like a, a to guess. 20? Yeah, oh. 16 to 20 per pound. Are they trying so. to take advantage of you? Saying there could be 16 or 20, and maybe mm. they They're giving themselves a, a little elbow room, is yeah. basically it. Yeah, a little yeah. wiggle yeah. room. For them. Good. So yeah, so you peel your shrimp and you you know then devein them, make sure they're nice and clean. How do you devein a shrimp? Well, you you see this say. part right here. You take everything off, and you see this part right here. You take your knife, mm -hmm. and there's other things. And I I just take my knife down, and it's already gone right now. And I take my thumb, and you just pull it right out. So right there in the shrimp, you're going to see a little bit of a vein. So you mm -hmm. just, it's black. Yep. You just pull it out. Yep, you pull it right out, and then you're ready to rock. Yeah. All right. And that's very good. So I like to use um, really nice, that's Irish butter. That's my thing. Irish I really butter. Like, yeah, it's really good. So it's uh, it's delicious. What's the difference? It's made in Ireland and it tastes <laughs> really good. So well, who would have thought? I know, right, right, right. So I've got some shallots in the pan. Get this nice and hot. And um, we're, it, it, this takes no time whatsoever. So you really want to just get everything going. You you could use wine. You could use some sort of a, um, you know, put a little wine in there, or you could use a little bit of the pasta water just to give it a base, you know, for the sauce. But it's but, a it's a clear sauce. Absolutely. It's a you know it, it's not a red sauce. It's more of a wine or an oil it's, sauce. It is. You can, and you hit, you mix bu uh, butter and olive oil together. To me, that's the ultimate flavor. That I love it, nice. and that's what those nice when you mix the French and the Italian together, that you some come to fusion. Some perfect... That's what the chefs call it. It's yep. fusion cooking. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm going to throw my my garlic in. I have about four or five cloves, and I really like garlic, so that you can just go for it with garlic. Now, depending on whether you like hot pepper or not, that's how much um, hot peppers you put in it. So we're going to get this going, and we're waiting for the them to cook down. The shrimp tape absolutely no time to cook. They're really quick. When they get pink, you want to pull them out. And when they cook, uh, our producer's wondering when they cooked or uh, when they're fully cooked, do they curl a little bit? Yes, Is that they how do. You know? Yes, okay. they do. But a, a good trick if you wanted to do this kind of a scampi on your grill, like for the summer, um, you take a skewer and skew the, the shrimp straight. And so that that way you can actually cook the shrimp and it'll keep, it'll keep nice and straight. You know what I mean? So that way, you, it looks as I drop the shrimp. <laughs> yeah. it's now good. it's they only 15, 20 hands, bags. Right, right. That's how fresh the <laughs> shrimp is. It's I know, it's very jump. It's very jumpy. Um, so you, you see what I'm saying? And if skewer you put it, right if you put, through skewer it. right all the way through so that it doesn't curl up when you um, when you cook it. But in, for today, it's going to curl up, OK? That's what it's going to be. Now I've got everything starting to bubble. Is that mm -hmm. when it's almost time to Can put in the shrimp? Can you smell that? It's going to waft like, here. Perfect. And you're not supposed to shove your schnoz over it, right? No, you're you supposed to waft it a little bit. <laughs> this I love that word, waft. Yourself. Oh, I thought you loved schnoz. I, well, I, yours. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So I'm going to just drop my, um, my shrimp in quickly, easily, into the sauce. And how much time roughly on the shrimp? I'm talking three minutes tops. Can you undercook shrimp in the sense that can you get sick from eating undercooked I, shrimp? You know what? I've never done that, but mm -hmm. I guess you could if you were really, you know, eating them like this. But honestly, you can make ceviche. And you can cook it with with lemon and and it, tell it, tell everyone at home how that works. I find this fascinating. You can cook something all the way through with purely using lemon or lime with an acid. It's an acid basically, so it's delicious. Oh my goodness, we'll do that another time. Okay, okay yeah, we'll I've got ceviche. nothing to do this afternoon. If okay, you want to cool. make a lunch with Good. ceviche lunch, well, yeah, and you can cook the fish all the way through. Now think about it. When you marinate something and you have lemon juice in it. Do you notice that it starts to turn white, like even a chicken? When I marinate chicken, it has yep. a white film on the top. Yeah, because it's starting to cook. 
that's why when you do that, you want to use the pith. You want to use the skin of the lemon and not the juice of the lemon when you're marinating. You get the same, because that's the oil. I understand. So you want the, the zest and mm -hmm. the oil. Absolutely. And that's why you get one of those zesters. Look at this. Yes. Oh, that looks going good, right? How do you add the sauce to get a little mm -hmm. bulk mm -hmm. to it? Well, at the end, I'm going to put it, I'm going to pull the shrimp out and I'm going to finish the sauce with a little more olive oil, maybe a little bit of wine, and then, um, <laughs> just and then a little some, bit. Just a little. Just, you know, a and touch. Then, uh, and then this is going to be ready to rock, and then we'll mix it and toss it over our pasta. So why don't we take a little bit of break right now? So okay. don't you go anywhere. We're going to finish up this recipe a little bit later in the show. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Well, this is Drakey, buddy, but wouldn't you think, would you put a $200 mushroom in a dish like this? No. Good, exactly. <laughs> By the way, we are back with Kathleen Delaney. She's the owner of Great Grapes Catering. We're finishing up our shrimp scampi. We are, and I pulled the shrimp out because I didn't want them to get rubbery and overcooked. Because just a few minutes with the shrimp, once they're pink, you take them out. Yeah, and I decided I had some spinach with me today as well. So if you're not, if you're watching your weight and you're looking to not throw everything on pasta, you could saute some spinach down. I'm going to wilt some spinach, and you could have it, um, the shrimp right on the spinach. That is not. Or a you bad can idea. toss them all together, and that'd be delicious. Too. You could also use a grain too, because pasta is kind of empty calories if you use maybe a quinoa. lentil or quinoa. Mm, yummy. It's got some protein in it also. Absolutely. Great for you and um, gluten free as well. So if you have any allergy issues. So Kathleen, really since I've seen you last, we finished the pasta mm -hmm. and it seems like the sauce is a little sauce thicker down. now. It is. I put a little bit of, um, of beer because I happen oh. to have a beer here. Hello. You know, <laughs> and I like that. You just happen and to have a I beer had... in your car on yeah, the way over? you know. I'm not going to judge. No, 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 no. no. And I wanted a little bit of alcohol. So, And of course the alcohol burns off, but I just it's thought that, that little bit of a taste. Yeah. So, and you, and I, noticed I love girls. You have so. a lager here and that's, it, it's, you know, it's just, it's springy tasting. It's delicious and it has a wonderful finish. Well, Kathleen, we are running out of time. Shall we plate? We're going to throw this, the shrimp back in. Just to give them a little, a little warm little them taste. up. Okay. We're going to finish it with, um, you want to throw a little bit of the hot pepper in. We're going to throw, throw some parsley. Roasted and red some pepper right here. I think oregano. I put too many oh, in. Oh, it's going to be a spicy one. <laughs> Toss these babies around. This is ready to rock. A little pasta then, on the plate. Pasta on the plate. Throw the spinach in. Oh, it's going to be awesome. So I'll tell you the spinach. Yeah, let's throw some yeah. pasta on the plate. I just want to eat it. I know you do. Actually, let's throw it in the pan, in the pan like the good Italian. Getting Italians everything do. sauteed love together. Love that. So I love we it. We are happy. So we'll get these babies going. By the way, if you want these recipes, you can stop Kathleen at the grocery store, or you can just head over to our website, mymassappeal.com, later today. This looks mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. I can't wait mm -hmm. to dig in. Hey, while we're plating this up, thanks to our friends at DeRocher Floors. Check these flowers out. And what you can't see right now is the amazing vase that they're in. It's it's a pitcher vase. You see oh, that, Kathleen? It is stunning. Yes. How nice is that? They, they do, do nice great work at DeRocher Floors. That's awesome. Jinx on you. Tomorrow on Mass Appeal, <laughs> we've got tips to reduce your energy bill, and you're going to meet our Mass Appeal's Pet of the Week. Stay tuned for 22 News at Noon coming up next. Yummy. Shall we plate? Yes, let's do okay, it. I'm just going to grab a fork, frankly. Okay. Plating. To heck with plating. I just want to eat this. There you go. Come on now. Don't be like that. <laughs> We're all friends here, but I don't. Other people are going to share this with us, so I don't want to. Uh... You want to get all that nice oh, garlic. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm.